The Secret Service is known for its discretion and its ability to maintain confidentiality of its operations. One aspect of their work that's garnered much curiosity is the use of code names for those they protect. Join FactsFirst as we take you through the world of the Secret Service and their code names. Rawhide during his time as the 40th President of the United States, Ronald Reagan earned the Secret Service codename Rawhide, inspired by his love for ranching and his many roles in Western movies. Before entering politics, Reagan had a successful career as an actor, making his mark in Westerns like Law and & Order and Santa Fe Trail. Providence when Dwight Eisenhower assumed office in 1953, the Secret Service gave him the code Providence. The choice of name reflected Eisenhower's religious beliefs and strong faith in God. After he retired, Eisenhower was known as Scorecard among the Secret Service agents because of his passion for golf, a sport he often played during his leisure time. Lancer John F. Kennedy was referred to as Lancer by the Secret Service, which was fitting given the comparisons made between his administration and the mythical court of King Arthur known as Camelot. In this legend, Lancelot was a famous knight, making Kennedy's code name all the more appropriate. Likewise, First Lady Jackie Kennedy was called Lace, which was thought to be a nod to her elegance and grace. Volunteer Lyndon Johnson's Secret Service code name was Volunteer, though the origins of it remain unclear. It's ironic given that Johnson assumed the presidency following Kennedy's assassination and did not exactly volunteer for the job. But Johnson did have a reputation for being a hard worker and for taking on challenges with great enthusiasm. Eagle The 42nd president of the U.S., Bill Clinton, was given the code name Eagle by the Secret Service. Interestingly, the beginning letter of the code names of everyone in his family also began with the letter E. Hillary Clinton was given the name Evergreen, which was fitting given her longevity in the public eye and unwavering dedication to public service. Searchlight Richard Nixon, the 37th president, was given the code name Searchlight. The irony of the name was not lost on anyone, as Nixon's presidency came to an end after he was implicated in the Watergate scandal. The searchlight of public scrutiny was firmly trained on Nixon, ultimately leading to his resignation. Passkey Gerald Ford, who took over after Nixon's resignation, was given the code name Passkey. The name is somewhat ironic given that Ford's pardon of Nixon effectively closed the door on any criminal prosecution of the former president. However, it's important to note that Ford's pardon was aimed at healing the nation and moving forward from the Watergate scandal. Timberwolf. The code name assigned to George H. W. Bush, the 41st president, was Timberwolf. While the origin of the name remains a mystery, it certainly has a ring of intrigue to it. His wife, Barbara Bush, was given the code name Tranquility, which is quite the opposite of Timberwolf. Trailblazer. George W. Bush, the 43rd president, was given the code name Trailblazer. Though, when he was the son of the sitting president, George H. W. Bush, he was given the codename Tumblr, which is a nod to his frequent falls while playing sports. Renegade Barack Obama's codename was Renegade, which he chose from a list of names presented to him by the Secret Service, all starting with the letter R. His wife Michelle was given the name Renaissance, while his daughters Malia and Sasha were given Radiance and Rosebud, respectively. These names reflected their personalities and the family's cultural and political significance. Mogul The traits and temperament of the 45th president are reflected in this codename. Donald Trump first proposed Humble as his Secret Service codename when he was elected. However, the agency ultimately decided on Mogul, which is a reflection of his successful business background and immense wealth. Celtic Former Vice President and current President Joe Biden has the Secret Service codename Celtic, which pays homage to his Irish roots and values. The codename was also used during his tenure as Vice President under President Obama. What you may not know The Secret Service assigns code names not only to presidents, vice presidents, and their families, but also to other prominent figures like government officials, dignitaries, and celebrities. The names are intended to provide a level of security and confidentiality. For example, in 2012, former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich chose the codename T-Rex due to his love of dinosaurs. 
Pope John Paul II was given the codename Halo, which was fitting for his spiritual role as leader of the Catholic Church. Interestingly, these code names are not just reserved for people, but can also be given to locations and objects. While the presidential state car is referred to as Stagecoach, Air Force One, the president's official aircraft, is known as Angel or Cowpuncher. The White House is referred to as Castle, while the U.S. Capitol is given the name Punchbowl. These code names serve as an added layer of security, making it difficult for outsiders to know who or what is being referred to in sensitive communications. What is the U.S. Secret Service? The Secret Service is not just another government agency. It's one of the most essential institutions of American government, responsible for protecting the president and his family. But that's not their only function. The agency's primary mission is to safeguard national leaders and their family, former presidents and their spouses, visiting heads of state and government buildings and facilities. It's also responsible for investigating financial crimes, including credit card and bank fraud, money laundering, and counterfeit currency. President Lincoln established the Secret Service on April 14, 1865, the same day he was assassinated. Initially, the agency's sole responsibility was to combat counterfeiting. It wasn't until 1901, after the assassination of President William McKinley, that the Secret Service was also tasked with presidential protection. It currently boasts a workforce of over 6,500 people, consisting of special agents, uniformed division agents, as well as technical, professional, and administrative personnel. The Secret Service's operations go beyond human personnel, as they have an entire canine unit dedicated to protective duties. This unit is made up of Belgian Malinois, a small breed originating from Holland, known for their sharp senses and athleticism. The dogs work in tandem with their uniform division handlers and stay with them around the clock, even after they retire. The agents assigned to the Presidential Protection Division, PPD, have the distinct responsibility of safeguarding the president and their family. All agents are rigorously trained to be at the top of their game, receiving 11 weeks of training at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Law, Firearms, Defensive Tactics, and Report Writing. Once they arrive in Washington, D.C., an additional 16 weeks of training is required, including advanced driving techniques, physical protection, and detecting counterfeit money and credit card fraud. Only one member of the Secret Service has died protecting the president. During the Truman administration, a tragic event occurred that demonstrated the bravery and sacrifice of Secret Service agents. On November 1, 1950, two Puerto Rican nationalists tried to assassinate President Truman by storming the house he was staying in while the White House underwent renovations. They managed to gain entry into the building and exchanged gunfire with the Secret Service agents on duty. Tragically, Private Leslie Kofelt, a member of the Secret Service, was shot three times. Despite his wounds, he managed to return fire, striking one of the attackers in the head. Unfortunately, Kofelt later succumbed to his injuries and became the only member of the Secret Service to die in the line of duty while protecting the president. They've never had a traitor. The Secret Service is one of the few government agencies that, as far as we know, has never been infiltrated by foreign spies or traitors. While the FBI, CIA, and NSA have all experienced breaches, the Secret Service has remained untouched. It's known for its strict background checks and rigorous training programs to ensure only the most trustworthy people are admitted to its ranks. Now it's time to hear from you. Were any of these nicknames surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.